how to create an authentic brand voice which connects with customers. Well, in this video, you guys are going to find out. I'm Ben and welcome to Social Genie. We're a digital marketing agency which specializes in helping people like you, brands, businesses, entrepreneurs, with growing their business through digital marketing tips, tricks, and hacks. If you're new around here, feel free to join the digital marketing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. In this video, we're gonna dive into how to create an authentic brand voice which connects deeply with your customers. Now, this is a really essential topic, so let's not waste any time and let's dive in. Okay, so let me just set the table for you guys. You're probably wondering, why do you need to create an authentic brand and an authentic brand voice that connects with customers. You might be thinking this is something really abstract and it's only for Fortune 500 companies. But believe me guys, this is essential and it's essential to differentiate your brand in the marketplace and it also helps to channel your sales, your marketing, all your messaging has to come from somewhere and it all has to start from this seed which is your authentic brand voice and believe me having a strong authentic brand voice and mission can really help to focus your entire business and make it incredibly successful it, it can inspire people to tell their friends and even come back and purchase more and more of your products and services now to start off i recommend you guys read this book here it's called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. He also did a popular talk and he really does get to the essence of brand message and why you need a brand message. Very few people or organizations know why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make a profit. That's a result, it's always a result. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief. So he has three circles. He talks about the why, the what, and the how. And he talks about basically most companies they just talk about what they are, how they do it, and that's it. And then they expect people to buy from them. So they'll say, we're a fantastic law firm. We have the best lawyers. We have the best customers. Do you want to come work with us? And yeah, it's not very inspiring. And really, it doesn't attract many true and loyal customers. Conversely, let's say you're a law firm that starts with why. And your why is basically to make valuable professional legal advice available to the average person so they can improve their quality of life by getting justice from the world. Now, that's a little bit more inspiring. I've just come up with that off the top of my head, but it might entice you a little bit more to actually work with this company. Now, you guys might be thinking, okay, Ben, that sounds fantastic, but I've got a small business or our business is very different. We don't do anything that inspiring. What can be our core brand message? Well, to help you guys out, it all starts with self-awareness. And here's a few little questions which you can ask yourself in order to help define what could be your brand message. Okay, so first start with why, which I spoke about. Secondly, what is the core competency that you or your business is good at? So this could be your unique selling proposition, your unique proposition in the market. The next question you can ask yourself, number three, is what are your top three business or life values. Now this could be something which is embedded into your business culture. You might be quite passionate. So one of the values of Social Genie is we're very, very passionate about helping our clients. Now that might seem like normal to some people, but really it's very rare, especially in most jobs and industries. And we're also quite warm, we're quite welcoming, whereas many businesses are quite cold. So it's identifying exactly what your business is and how it is compared to other businesses. Another question you can ask yourself is what are the top three things that you want your business to be known for? Do you want your business to be known for the business which makes the most profit? Or do you want your business to be known for something a little bit more honorable? Now, finally, you can ask what is the problem your ideal customer has and what is the solution your business has? These all help to define your brand and then help to connect that brand with your customer. Now, the second major area I wanna dive into, which you can ask yourself these questions to really introspect and find out more about you, your business, your culture, your drive, your values, and ask what is your business's unique perspective? So there can be four elements to this. The first is the business's history. So you can actually talk about the founding story of the company. Every company has a founding story. Some are quite fun, some are interesting, some are boring. 
Every company has a founding story and you can always make it sound quite interesting. So that's a great place to start. Values, so this could be the company values, your personal values, the drive and mission of the business. So this could be helping people with a certain aspect of their life. So let's say it's an e-commerce beauty company. They could say our mission is to help people look more beautiful and feel more confident each and every day. That's a little bit more inspiring than simply saying we sell cosmetic products. And then finally, it's the action. So how is your business taking action in order to help people achieve that? For example, with the beauty example, our mission is to help people look beautiful and actually feel more confident each and every day. We accomplish this by a best in class solution, which is scientifically proven to help do X, Y, Z. So this is just off the top of my head, but these are just some examples which you can try and fit with your specific personal brand your entrepreneur brand or your business. Now, really, you're not trying to speak to everybody with your brand message. You're trying to speak specifically to your ideal customer. So it's all about having empathy and understanding your ideal customer deeply. So I also recommend creating character personas or customer personas as they're often called of your ideal customer. So this could be the demographics, what their interests are, what the pain points are. So you really do understand them deeply and also how they speak, their language, their vocabulary. This can all help to create and define a strong brand message and then your marketing messages moving forward. And as the old marketing adage goes, if you try and market to everybody, you will market to nobody. Now, another fantastic tip is to actually think about, let's say you're walking down the street and two people are having a conversation about your company or your brand. What do you want them to be saying about the company? Do you want them to be saying, oh yeah, that company, they sell good products, but they just seem quite cold or they rip people off or they don't do this or they don't do that. Or do you want to say, that's a fantastic company or they're really welcoming and the people are incredible and X, Y, Z. Now think about that because those conversations are actually happening in real life all over the world. Whether you're a small business or a large business, people talk about your brand. They either talk in their own head or they talk to other people and that can benefit your business positively or negatively. Now, an interesting statistic for you guys is 70% of customers choose a brand before they even reach out to a business. So, so people do observe the brand, they ask friends for recommendations, they look at reviews before they even make a purchasing decision. So it is vital to have your brand very strong to begin with. Now, my final point I'm going to make is that people, they buy with emotion and they back it up with logic. So ideally, what you're trying to do with your brand message is to create an emotional connection with your ideal customer. Now, a great way to offer a solution which perfectly fits your ideal customer is to imagine your customers walking around with a sticker or a posted note on their forehead which says, what's in it for me? Or another way of looking at this is to say, Every person has tuned in to WIFM radio, what's in it for me radio, because that's what people want to know. They don't really care about your company. They don't really care about your brand initially. What they want to know is, how is that going to help me? How is that going to help my life? And then what you need to do is connect your brand message to the customer's problem and then offer a solution. So that's today's video, guys. I hope you did find it valuable. If you did, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up, helps out tremendously with the channel and if you guys need help with your digital marketing strategy or brand feel free to reach out to us i will link with our details in the description below and with that being said i hope you guys have an incredible day and i'll see you in our next video keep growing